Back with another video for you today and I got tagged to do this 10 fragrances for life video. Niche fragrances edition. Hey, we're doing niche fragrances. I, you saw my designer one and uh, I was mentioning why only designer and finally they have this version as well. But only 10 fragrances for life. So this was a very, very tough choice and I'm going to tell you what they are plus who I'm tagging all come in right up. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If this is your first time on this channel and you love watching fragrance reviews, discovering new scents that you haven't heard about, and participating in giveaways and still haven't subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. And that's right, this is my 10 Fragrances for Life video, the Niche Fragrances Edition. This is something that I really enjoy, Niche Fragrances. And I got tagged by KC Loves Frags. She's a new newbie, I think she's just brand new on the scene uh, and she's told me several times that she loves my collection and so she decided to tag me in this video. Thank you for tagging me for the correct video. I had to sneak in one more but, though, it just I, I just can't do 10, 10 is just tough. But if that was a life and death kind of thing, I guess I could do 10, but I am sneaking in one more. And it's just gonna be 10 and I'll just pull in that 11th one randomly here. But let's get started. Uh, one comes to mind from the house of uh, Amouage. This is the only one that I really, really love from Amouage. Even though I love this house, I have a lot of their fragrances, but this one seems to be the one that I keep pulling for, the one that I keep smelling and then the wearing and all that kind of stuff. And that is Lyric Man, this right here. So Lyric Man is all about the rose, but this is a fresh rose. This is a nice, juicy, uh, citrusy rose with lime and ginger. But one that is a rose that you can wear in the summertime in the heat. It won't overwhelm, but still has great, great performance. Um, it's a, a rose lover's dream come true. It's very, very fresh though. It doesn't come off very heavy, even though, as I said, it does perform great. And it's one that I just really, really love the way it smells. Now, it is perfect for summertime, but you can still pull it off in the winter time, of course, or in the a war a cooler weather days. But I find this to be just perfect, perfect, perfect in the heat. And the other thing is, even though it's called Lyric for Men or Lyric Man, it's very unisex. In fact, I've heard some men say it's a bit on the feminine side. And it's funny because I have both Lyric Man and Lyric Woman. I found the, the Lyric Woman to be a slight bit more masculine, uh, but there's no real, um, you know, sexes behind fragrances. So just if you're comfortable wearing uh, one called Lyric Man and you're a woman, wear it. And if you're comfortable wearing one called Lyric Woman and you're a man, wear it. There's no questions about it, but this is hands down definitely a one of the 10 fragrances for life niche edition, Lyric Man by Amouage. So this next one is a fairly new one in the collection, but I've known about the house for some time and I've known about the scent for a, quite a long time and I've loved the scent. I just never really picked it up because everybody was talking about it, everybody was wearing it, everybody had it. So finally, earlier this year, I reviewed it and the fragrance I'm talking about is African Leather. This is such a great, great leather fragrance, but what I like about this leather fragrance is the fact that it has all the spices. I absolutely love spices and one of my favorite spices is cardamom and this has got a very, very dominant uh, cardamom note. Um, I remember spices uh, growing up and cardamom is one of them. When I used to open up the jar of cardamom, there's this like beautiful aromatic spiciness to this uh, the spice that I love, love about it. And this is actually capturing that whole spice market thing with the cardamom and of course the leather. You've got leather, you've got animals, it's Africa, it's based on Africa. It's just perfect, perfect scent. I think it's probably the most popular in the leather series from Memo Paris. And I could see why, it's just a perfect scent. So this had to be on the list. This is African Leather from Memo Paris. I had to put one from the house of Montal. And the one that I really love from this house is Intense Cafe, this right here. What do I like about this one is the fact that it's very cozy. It's rose, it's definitely rose, and it's milky, it's frothy, it's coffee, of course. And it's almost like you're in a rose garden with a 
like a mobile coffee shop or coffee store near you where you're ordering your cappuccinos and then you're smelling the roses next door if that makes sense I don't know that's just something I just kind of made up but that's exactly the kind of smell I get with intense cafe it's just some of my favorite things I love coffee I love cappuccinos I love roses and milky uh, roses and coffee together is what I get from Montal intense cafe again this one kind of People have said it's been on the feminine side and every woman that I've talked to about this, not everyone, but a lot of women I've talked to about this has told me, God, this is such a great scent, I need to get a bottle. And I can see why, because it's such an excellent, excellent release from the House of Montal and my favorite release from the House of Montal. So, Montal Intense Cafe is another one. So this next one, I had to include this house on this list. And it was a toss up between one of their more exclusive ones that just became available or the one I fell in love with first from this house. So I went with the first one that I fell in love with from this house and it is Herod from Parfum de Marly. Um, the other one I was thinking of was Carlisle, but I, d I decided to put this one in here because this was my very first love from um, this house and it's so good. It is delicious. This is a tobacco fragrance that smells really really delicious and it's nothing like any other tobacco fragrances out there. It's um, floral notes kind of come up uh, with some vanilla and of course tobacco kind of make this really unique classy and, and sexy as well kind of a fragrance with tobacco. And I don't find this to be too masculine or too feminine. It's totally right down the middle, so both men and women can enjoy it. It is actually maybe perhaps slight bit masculine leaning, and that's why I call it to be classy and masculine. But other than that, it's, it's just perfection. It's just a great, great scent. And I am so happy to have a bottle in my collection because I love wearing it. I especially love wearing this one in the heat, go figure. It comes alive, it's beautiful. Herod by Parfum de Marly. So this next one has always been at number one in my niche list and if you've been following me for a while you probably know what I'm talking about. Recently I picked up a brand new bottle of it, a 100ml bottle of it. Originally I've had a 50ml bottle of this fragrance. It was one of the very first and most expensive fragrances I bought back in 2013, five years ago, and I was just into this hobby, brand spanking new, and I had gone into our Barney's store here in San Francisco to buy Black Afghano, and I smelled this fragrance, and I was like, damn, what the hell am I smelling? It is so good. Two weeks later, I went back, because I was on a budget at that time. I was not really sure I wanted to be really engulfed in fragrances, so I was kind of not buying a lot of fragrances. But I went back two weeks later and bought a 50 ml bottle. It was the most expensive thing I had bought for a long time, fragrance-wise. And I kept it, and I love that fragrance so much. I have a little bit of uh, it left, and I'm talking about Portrait of a Lady, this one from Frederick Mall. This is the reformulated version from the Estee Lauder um, when they got bought out. I find it to be very, very close. There's some minute uh, nuances. Performance is probably not as good as the original as well because this happens to be beast mode. This is major beast mode. Um, and it's still beast mode, but I think the original still is more beast mode. But if you like rose, again, I have three rose fragrances so far on this uh, video. Rose, incense, spices like uh, cinnamon and cloves, and then you also have patchouli, what a beautiful intoxicating concoction this one is. I just can't stop smelling it. It's just really, really wonderful. And comments do come in with this one. I love this one. This is created by Dominic Rupion for Frederick Mall. If you don't know Portrait of a Lady, do check it out. It's probably one of the best fragrances in a niche perfumery, hands down. So Portrait of a Lady from Frederick Mall, check it out. So that's five, and I'm, I think I'm gonna go to cut to that honorable mention that I was telling you about that I wanted to include an 11th one. So this is a fragrance that I recently picked up. It is from a brand new, sorta of newish, two, three years old only house called Parfum du Cita. And this is called Fleur de Lalita, this right here. This happens to be one of my absolute favorite floral fragrances. It's all about white flowers, but it's also very, very green. There's a pretty big uh, galbanum note in here, but, oh man, it reminds me of classics. It reminds me, it's, it's also very, very sexy. I mean, it reminds me of uh, classics, but it's not like old smelling. It smells very, very modern, but Oh man, this is so good. The reason it didn't make in the top 10, well, this is not really a top 10 list, this is just a 10 list. 
It's brand new, I'm still testing it out. I just picked it up and it's hardly even been worn, but I've done videos about this one from, from samples and this is just, I'm gaga over this fragrance. It's just absolutely delicious. If you don't know it, do check it out. If you're into white flowers for fragrances, this is a must. This is definitely a must. It's just amazing. And I don't like saying that word too many times, but this one to me is amazing. Um, check it out, Parfum du Cita and Fleur de Lalita. Go into the house of Tower Perfumes, and this is a Cour de Desert. Now I put this one on the list instead of um, a Laird de Desert Marocaine because I find this one to be a little better for me, even though LDDM or Laird de Desert Marocaine is the one that I fell in love with first from the house of Tower Perfumes. And this just is one of the best amber fragrances ever. Just hands down, amazing fragrance. And this is dry, dusty, ambery, uh, spicy. It's just a beautiful concoction. There's just something really, really awesome about it. And I can see why LDDM or this is probably uh, Tower Perfumes, one of uh, the most popular or best sellers from the house. So if you don't know it, do check it out. It's an amazing, amazing fragrance. These are all amazing to me. That's why they're here, uh, but uh, wonderful. It's just one of the best creations ever in perfume history. Um, I shouldn't say perfume history. Although it is perfume history, I was gonna say niche perfume history, but definitely, it's, it's definitely perfume history. So a Cour de Desert or a Laird de Desert Marocaine is another one I wanted to include on the list. Next, we're going to the house of Zerzhov, and I, I was tossing up between this or Uden or Kobe, and unfortunately, I don't have a bottle of Neo anymore, so I had to include this one. This is Naxos. Naxos is just a great, great tobacco fragrance but it's honey tobacco with uh, tonka beans and there's a gourmand quality to it. There's actually a lavender quality to this. Soapy, clean, but tobacco, honey. Oh my God, it's so delicious. It's absolutely delicious and uh, I can't get enough of it. Now you probably have tested, if you haven't tested this, you probably have tested Pure Havan from Mugler, but if you compare the two side by side, I mean, I've heard some people say there's no difference, but man, you can totally tell the difference. This is luxury all the way, and Pure Havan is your kind of like gateway or entry, entry level drug to go to the more luxury side. I guess that's what I would say. But I like both, but I love this one. This one is just amazing. In a 100 ml bottle, I picked up this one for around 195 euros, so probably sells for about $225 for a 100 ml. So it's pretty good price for Zerzhov, actually. So check out Naxos. That is another one in my 10 fragrances for life niche edition. Going to the house of Jovoy, and I had to include one Jovoy on here because I find this house to be absolutely amazing. Beast Mode fragrances, awesome, awesome releases, great, great fragrances, original fragrances. And this one I find to be very sexy, Beast Mode, very, very compliment getter. This is Incident Diplomatique. It's got the best of both worlds of vetiver and patchouli. Slight bit more patchouli than vetiver, but man, this is amazing. People stop me on the street and say, what are you wearing? And I say, Incident Diplomatique, and people I just don't know what, what I'm talking about. I guess they're the, those are kind of like the people that like scents, but they don't know much about fragrances, so you have to kind of educate them when they stop you. But there are some people that might, you know, say, oh, okay, I've heard of that place, or I've seen that store. Um, it's, it's great, great scent. It's a great house. Do, do explore this house. I have several videos on the channel, and one interview with Francois, the, uh, the guy who started Javoy, this brand, and of course the store in Paris. So Incident Diplomatique is another one. One to go to the house of Roja Parfums, and this had to be on the list. This is my favorite Roja Parfums fragrance. This is Creation E, the Pure Perfume Edition. Man, it's so good. Man, it is boozy, delicious heaven. I absolutely love this. I just can't get enough of it. This is probably one of my uh, favorite, favorite. Well, these are all my favorite niche fragrances. These are absolutely amazing, all of these, but this one, Man, it is so good, so, so good. Um, there's something delicious after you get past that booziness. There's like this nuttiness in here, leather, violet leaves, I think, just woody notes, just man, it's, you smell it when you put your nose on it, 
it reeks luxury, like absolutely. And the, the smell is so complex, like ultra, ultra complex. You can smell that there's so many layers to the notes, so many, so many uh, amazing layers. Absolutely fantastic fragrance. I just love this and it is gonna be in my collection forever because it smells amazing. Roja Parfums Creation E, Pure Perfume Edition, and if you're in Europe, it's called Enigma. Last but not least, we go into the house of Maison Francis Kirchner. I had to not skip the Armenian guy, which because I'm Armenian as well, I had to include it, but it's not only because of that. I love this fragrance. It's one of my favorite, favorite fragrances. This is Grand Soir right here. I absolutely love this. This is one of my favorite ambers of all time. It's a more recent fragrance. I almost put in another amber fragrance, but I had to include this one because um, I find this one to be so elegant, so classy, so unisex. It's just so unisex. It's right down the middle. So if you thought about, you know, ambers being too masculine, this is, this is not it. And there's this like transparency to it as well, even though it's got great, great performance. You can see through the fragrance, but still it has depth to it. It's almost like you're, you're like seeing through like this black hole, but not necessarily a black hole, just like, a, like going through space, but it's like colorful. You can see right through it, but still it's depth, it's deep, it's going and going. That's the kind of experience I have. This is inspired by Nighttime in Paris. The, the, the other fragrance that's part of the collection is called Petit Matin, which is the morning time in Paris. But, oh my God, this is amazing. All these fragrances are amazing to me. That's why they're on this list. And this had to be here. Maison Francis Kirkjian Grand Soir. I'm waiting for the X-ray edition of this. I wonder if they're gonna do that, like the Forte version. I think he calls them Forte. So Aqua Universal is Forte, Aqua Vitae Forte, and then now they have the, the latest one. I'm drawing a blank with that name. Um, anyway, hopefully I'll do a Forte version, but I think this is perfection already as it is. I'm not sure how much more perfect it'll get, but this had to be on the list. This is amazing. This is Grand Soir from Maison Francis Kirchner. So that's it. That's my list, guys. Uh, if I had to pick this again next year, it'll probably change. But for now, these are what I'm feeling. There's some oldies here. There's some newbies here, goodies, and uh, all of that stuff. These are the ones I'm feeling. So I'm tagging three people, and hopefully these, these three have not done the uh, tag video. So I'm tagging Mr. Zayas81, Renee Zayas, to do this video. I'm also tagging Lola Sense. Lola, please do this video. I will let you know, both of you. And I'm also tagging Nikhil or Nikhil uh, from Exotic Sense. Hopefully uh, you three have not done this video, tag video yet, and hopefully you'll do it. But other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this list. Do you like them? Do you like these fragrances? Do you hate these fragrances? Uh, have you had them, worn them? What kind of um, experience did you have with these fragrances? Let me know. Let's get a conversation started. Also, please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.